today I'm testing some $5 slime kits that I got from Michael's Craft Store. There's unicorn poop, glow in the dark, galaxy, and gross poop. Oh, this one looks really disgusting. So this is a demo and review video of sorts to let you guys know if they work out, if you should spend your money on these, or if they're a huge waste. I really don't know yet, so we're gonna find out. But first, if you guys have not caught up on my most recent videos, I do have a DIY on how to create this beautiful tapestry behind me. I will link that below along with the new hydro dipping fidget spinners video, so you can check those out. But now let's get on into the slime kits. I'm gonna start out with the gross poop because I'd have to say this is my least favorite and I want to save the pretty ones for last. Wow, this corner of the room is so cluttered though. I'm sorry you guys have to witness this in the video, but I have my desk here, so this is the best place to work. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you're interested in seeing more product review videos. I just got this pinball paint machine toy from Five Below. It looks pretty cool. Let's break into this box. Oh my god. Fake corn. That's so gross and bugs. In this kit, there's a little bottle of white glue, a tiny measuring cup, fake corn and bugs. Ew, they're little flies. They have clear wings. Food coloring, sodium tetraborite. So this is the borax, the activator, a clear plastic spoon, and this wooden mixing stick. And of course, the directions. <laughs> it's gross poop slime time. Set up your laboratory. I wish I had some goggles right now. By the way, my camera's on autofocus, so you'll probably hear some clicking. I know it's annoying, but I can't focus myself, so I don't know what to do. Do not eat the slime or any of the ingredients. Yeah, who's gonna eat poop slime? I'll be right back. I'm gonna fill this with 25 milliliters of warm water. That's the first step. It told me to fill up two disposable cups with 25 milliliters of warm water. And when I make slime for myself, I normally don't measure. It's just a pain in the butt and it's easier to eyeball it. But I wanted to follow the directions here, so I measured it out. It says with one of the cups that you need to do a plastic spoonful of this borax powder. Put that in here and mix it up really well. And then unbelievably, it told me to measure 16 milliliters of this white glue. Why you couldn't just put the entire bottle, I don't know. There's not that much more left in here. But I'm just gonna do what it says and I'm going to pour that glue into the second cup of warm water. Leo, what's wrong? Leo, buddy. I already don't like that I had to mix this because now it's stuck in here and it's not even 16 milliliters anymore. I'm gonna squeeze in a little bit more from the bottle since it got stuck in the container. That should be okay. Mixing, 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 mixing. In the glue mixture, I'm putting a couple drops of brown food color, ooh. It's taking a very long time for the borax powder to dissolve, but I feel like it's just about there. And here is the glue and food coloring mixture. It's a gray brown. It's really ugly in my opinion. Definitely does not match this poopy brown on the packaging. We're gonna go for it. I'm just gonna take a spoonful at a time of the borax. Oh, it's already sliming. Look at that. I guess I'll just dump a little bit in. Oh. says to mix it mostly all in there. Whoa. I'm not sure if this cup is big enough. Okay. Whoa, it's so slimy. So slimy. It says to pour this in until all the water is dissolved, but I don't know that that's possible. And I just got brown dye on my skin. I think we're gonna pull this out. Ooh, it's a little sticky still. Look how gray and blobby it is. Oh. This is not brown. This was a poor choice of container, by the way. Way too small. Oh no! I'm making such a mess. Oh my God, it's so gross. It's definitely way too runny. But then there's parts of it that are too sticky. I ended up with this grayish blob of poop that does not look anything like the one on the box. I don't know how I got this picture because this is what I have. They don't even stick. 
they photoshopped a real fly photo onto their slime. That is clickbait. Clickbait. Shop bait. False advertising though. Ooh, oh my goodness, hold on. We have it. We have accomplished. I don't know, I think this is as close as it comes. So my verdict is definitely save your money unless you are really set on getting some fake corn kernels because everything else is literal poop. It doesn't look like poop though. <laughs> this one gets a thumbs down. Next, I'm trying the glow in the dark slime. This kit comes with some other stuff, including a bag of green craft sand and glow in the dark paint. I have about 30 milliliters of water in here and then I'm just gonna use the borax uh, solution from the last slime because I still have enough left. This actually has quite a few different recipes. They're all different variations of the same thing basically. There's sticky icky slime, ooey gooey glow slime, alien sneeze glow slime, that's the one I'm doing I guess, gloppy sloppy slime, and monster snot slime. So some of them use a the glow powder, some of them use a the sand, some don't use anything. Some use more water than others so they're more goopy I guess. So again it says to use 16 milliliters of glue. I'm not measuring this time. I'm just gonna put almost the entire bottle in. It actually doesn't say to add the food coloring for this one but I am I want it to be more green I got a bigger container this time it was so stupid to try and use that little Dixie cup so maybe this one will turn out better now it wants me to add half of the paint pot whoa that is really runny that's a lot more runny than I thought it would be okay and it also says to add half of the bag of sand okay about half mix that all together Final step is to slowly put the borax water mixture into here. Oh, it's starting to slime. Looks like an ogre booger, like Shrek slime. A little bit more. I can kind of feel the sand in here. It's a tiny bit textured. I feel like if you do get this kit and then you look up other slime recipes and just don't follow theirs, you'll be able to get something that's not so rippy, I guess. I almost just want to see what happens if I put more glue. I feel like I put too much borax again, it's not slimy. Some of the stuff in the container actually set up better, so I think this is gonna help. Look at that, so I'm gonna add that. Well, that's definitely helping. It's so weird that this just doesn't set up like normal homemade slime, I guess. This is probably as good as it's gonna get. I like this kit a lot better than the poop slime. It's definitely a prettier color. It has some paint and some sand, so it feels cool. The real test though is to see if it actually glows. I'm taking you guys into my cluttered closet. Here's the slime. Time to shut the door. Nothing. Nothing. There's zero glow here. So disappointing. So if you guys are thinking to get the glow in the dark slime to see it glow, definitely don't buy it. I just wouldn't waste my money on the kit personally and just get all the supplies separately. Make it on your own, get a big bottle of glue. You're not really going to be saving much money by using the kit because it just comes with really tiny amounts of everything anyway. Not a bad slime, I will say. This is okay. But I did take the paint into the closet as well on its own and it barely, barely glows. So it just didn't have enough power to make this guy light up. Which one? I wanna save the galaxy for last. So moving on to unicorn poop. Right off the bat with the unicorn slime, it says that you can make two different colors. It comes with purple and pink dye, but it only comes with one bottle of glue. So I just had to use all the leftovers from the other kits and it still was barely enough. So that is definitely a downfall to this, but I wanted to make both colors and I didn't want to half the recipe. Doing a little pink in here. It's a very pretty pink. It's more of a neon. Try to make it. <laughs> oh my gosh, the ring fell off of the bottle. I want it to be really colorful. And some purple too. Whoa, that is super pigmented. This is a really pretty color. I was too lazy to mix more borax, so after this gets used up, I'm just gonna use the water and borax mixture that I have here. It's so odd how just this little bit clumps and the rest is still liquid. It seems like my borax solution is working way better than the stuff that they give in the kit. Let's see if that's accurate. I'm just putting my own solution here. A little bit at a time. 
I feel like this is turning out way better. This kit also comes with a very tiny amount of rhinestones. I haven't counted, but I think there's about 20, and it says to put half in each color, so there's not gonna be much sparkle in this. Definitely use your own borax solution and it'll turn out so much better. For mine, I used an empty tie-dye container because it has a squirt nozzle on top, and I just put about a teaspoon of borax in warm water. And here's the pink one. Keep in mind, I used some of their borax powder for this one, so it's probably not gonna be as nice as the purple. Dumping them all in the center was not a brilliant idea because they didn't actually face upward. This one definitely turned out the best so far. I think the common theme you guys are seeing is don't buy the kit, just buy your own ingredients and make your own slime. There's really nothing special about these. You can get so many more rhinestones at the dollar store and then buy a big bottle of glue there. And also you could just use detergent or um, liquid starch or contact solution and just use a little bit of that to make a ton more slime. Here's a comparison of the unicorn slime to the in the dark slime. I think that one of the main problems is they tell you to mix too much powder with such a small amount of water. When it comes to water and borax powder, you want a much higher ratio of water than you do the powder. So keep that in mind if you're doing this. Finally, we are moving on to the galaxy. Oops, I accidentally set slime on the paper. It's kind of stuck. The galaxy slime also has two colors. It has blue and purple. It says to make two different batches, but I'm not gonna mess with that, so. Here I have my glue and water mixture, and I'm gonna put the color, and then I'm gonna dump all this glitter in. Oh, come on. I keep dropping the little room guy in there. And again, I wish it would stay like this, the colors are swirled, but once I mix it, they're gonna just blend. So I definitely think the galaxy one is prettiest. It's so sparkly. Let me know in the comment section below which slime from this video is your favorite. And if you have not yet subscribed and you never wanna miss a new video from me, click that red subscribe button and also turn notifications on. I post two new videos every single week, usually Friday and Sunday. So there's a lot more coming up, product testing, DIYs, slime, maybe fidget spinner stuff, whatever you guys wanna see, let me know below. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day and I'll see you very soon in my next video, goodbye.